Hello, my Gemini Cancer Cuz. Welcome to Gemini Soul. Guys, I hope you guys are all doing wonderful out there. I miss you guys. I know I had an upload for y'all. It seems like a, a minute, but I don't even think it was only a week or so. I don't know. Anyway, Cuz, I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. You are my second biggest supporters on my channel. So I really appreciate this. I hope that this resonates with you. If it does not, it's okay. Check Gemini's, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever. But if you sometimes struggle between air and water, then this may be a message in here for you. So the reading we're going to do is what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming. Um, what it is, why, the challenge, and the support. And then the overall for the reading, okay? So let's just get right into it. It's going to be a quick reading, guys. I think I always say that. But the universe be saying different. All right. So let's get going here. And cuspers. What is it that's coming towards you that you don't see? What is it? <laughs> Nine of Wands. I swear to God. I change cards. Y'all see how I change cards? I change cards and it don't change. Anyway, the Nine of Wands. Something's coming towards you that you're going to be guarded about. Okay. So this is this, this is what you need to know. This is what you don't know. That something's coming towards you that you're going to need to be guarded about. Or that you're going to be guarded about. Why is it coming towards you? Oof. Codependent toxicity. Boundaries. Somebody trying to cross your boundaries. Why is this happening? Because they got codependent issues. Because they miss you. Because something you share with them, they want it back. <laughs> That's what I heard. Something you share with them, they want it back. Let's keep going. What's going to be the challenge in it for you, Cusper? Ah, the Empress, baby. It won't be a challenge. But you have all the tools. This is in your challenging. So you're the empress. You have all the tools, the air, the water, the fire, the earth. So I understand. And this, this is this is dealing with some real earth. Over here, you got some fire over here. So look, look, with the empress, you got what? Earth, fire, water, and air. So it's like bring it on. It's like bring it on. Let, let's see what it is you really want to. <clears throat> want me to recognize in this situation because whatever you bring, I'm able to counteract that. I got it, right? <clears throat> okay, you feeling a little spicy. You a little spicy. Um, so how's the universe going to support you in this? I can't. Yeah, your, re <clears throat> your reading's over. Your reading is over, Cusper. The universe is going to support you by giving you the biggest gift and understanding of this situation. It is like it's simple. This is going to be simple, right? If you have to respond to something, say you're going to court or there's a job or a situation around you or there's an investment, it's going to be, oh, my ears. It is going to be simple. It's simple. You're going to know where to invest. You're going to know how to invest, what time to invest, who to invest, what not to invest. It's going to be simple because the universe is like, okay, Here's my customer with all the tools they need. Where should we land the support with that? Ace of Pentacles from the universe. I'm telling you, if y'all haven't seen Gemini the Creator, because you're a Gemini cusper, Ace of Pentacles is part of your creation of why you was created. You've got to go check that one out. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. The overall for this whole reading the universe needs you to get fired up and use all these tools that you got because you got some beautiful tools coming in. But what you don't see coming is there's a situation you're going to have to be guarded about because somebody either want to invest in this situation with you or they want to be part of this situation with you or they are karmically attached to you. And you may have to guard yourself. So the universe is giving you all the tools to be able to handle this fire, to handle this earth, whatever it is that's coming towards you. You have the tools, but he wants you to be aware that this is coming towards you. So you have one side that's beautiful, abundance and growing, and you're about to invest in something be very powerful in it. And then you have the other side where there's something 
And I'm not saying it, it may be in your past, so it may be coming up. So say if you won some money or all of a sudden you're doing very, very well, male or female. Maybe you got a baby mama now finna come and want child support from you. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, if it's a, a a baby, you know, if if you're the female, I mean, it could go either way. Anybody can want child support. Or then you're going to have somebody come and say, like, come toward you like, you owe me. You remember when you didn't have this, I did this. Or somebody's going to be trying to tell you that something that you have, you need to share with them. But that's because they're codependent. And whatever they may have done, they may have not did it from, well, maybe at the time they did do it from their heart, but it don't matter. They feel you owe them something. I'm just saying. That's what you don't see coming. And you don't have to have to guard yourself against this. I'm also hearing, because Jim and I had it, something turned into an S show. Okay? And <clears throat> with that turning into that, you're going to have to use your tools wisely on how to deal with this situation. The universe has your back. They're supporting because this here is yours, all right? But some people have issues with letting go and moving on, especially when someone starts to grow or it just happened like that. Like one minute you're with them and the next minute, and I, this may happen. One minute you was with someone, the next minute you like rich, abundant. And not only just, uh, uh, and well, you know, as a creator in Gemini, you're supposed to stay abundant so that you can continue to share your love and support others. Um, so, and, and this is like, maybe you get a lot of support around you or you get a new job or you buy a new home or you get a new car or, you know, you dress differently, you look different, your energy change and whatever this is that you need to guard yourself about. Now it could also be, well, this is what's coming towards you that you don't see. Something may come towards you to try to uh, invade in your privacy. That's what I heard. Somebody may come and try and invade in your privacy. They, how will they do that? They may do it like, I don't know, lock your mailbox. <laughs> uh, accounts, I don't know. They try to get into your personal accounts. That's what I'm hearing. Guard yourself, Cusper, uh, when it comes. But you know what? If they really know who you are, they really don't want to do that. <laughs> That's what I heard. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just saying what the Spirit said. They need to be careful. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> let's get off of that. Because that part there, that you have no control over. That's the universe protecting you. So you just know that. You won't. Don't, and if something, I'm just hearing this, Cusper, if something happens, please know you, it's just the universe protecting you. That's all I can tell you. It's the universe protecting you. So don't beat yourself up over it because that had nothing to do with you. I mean, it did, but it didn't, right? They chose that. They chose that route and they, they probably shouldn't have did that. So, and the universe says you don't even need to know nothing about that. What you need to do is focus that away. That's what I heard. All right. So let's just, this is supposed to be a quick read. All right. Um, so what was coming towards you was the uh, nine of wands. Clarifying the nine of wands, please, spirit. Clarify the nine of wands for cuss. Clarify the nine of wands. Got two cars here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody mad. So this, this, what's coming towards you is somebody is pissed. Cause Queen of Swords in reverse. Again, this could be an ex, a widow, widow, whoever the heck it is. Somebody is pissed off. They could have a lot of air and they, uh, sign, they, you know, could, but it don't have to be that. You could be dealing with another Gemini and then you got tempers in reverse. Somebody is very, uh, I heard somebody wants to come in and tell you about yourself and they sick and tired of waiting to tell you about this, uh, about yourself, not them, because they piss. So something's triggered them. Again, I told you something's happened in your life. Either you got a new surroundings or new people has come in or you become very abundant or you're being seen or noticed and they thought they were going to be a part of that or they want to be a part of that. And they're pissed. Because, and some of them may feel like they waited, really? 
Okay, so that's deceptive too. That they were in your life helping you build or do whatever it is because they knew this time was coming and you cut them off right before the apples fell off the tree. <laughs> I don't know. This is some type of investment. They, feel, I don't know if they feel they invest with you. Did they feel they gave whatever they gave to you as an investment? I don't know. But don't worry. This, you ain't gonna have to worry about that because spirit gonna take care of this because they, they don't deal with energy like this. No, not when they giving you energy like this and something's coming in with energy like this. Don't you even worry about it. It ain't gonna turn out good for them. Nope, not at all. What they think gonna happen is gonna be, yeah. I, I, I'm I'm done because I'm feeling I'm not I'm not putting that out there. I'm, that, that ain't for you to know, Cusper. Keep moving, keep going the way you want to. Let the universe deal with this. Somebody's angry, they're tired of waiting, and you're gonna have to guard your energy against them. And once you do that, you're probably gonna send them in a whirlwind, and 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 it's not your fault. Okay. Um, whatever situation this person was dealing with or in, that was their own choice to not guard they self against situations so that they could be in this energy with you. So do not hold yourself accountable for this. Okay, let's just keep going. We're not going to keep dealing with what's coming. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. I mean, let's say that. Okay. Why is this codependent? Why is the devil card here in... Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> you know why the devil car here? <laughs> mm. Why is this happening? Why is this person upset? Why they not waiting no more to come towards you and you're going to need your guard up? Because they sick of balancing the fact that you will not take their cup back or communicate. So this is somebody you didn't cut off. You're not accepting apologies. You're not going back and forth in your mind about them no more. And with the eight of ones in reverse, there's no movement in this situation. There's no more uh, showing up emotionally in this situation. You are not confused on how to balance this out anymore. You just like... Why this is happening? Because this person, it's like they want to blame you for they own. Oh my, these people, I can't with y'all. This person wants to blame you because there's no movement. There's no more love because you're out of your head of juggling back and forth how you should deal with this situation. No, they need to work on themselves. For, for one, they codependent. They toxic. They dealing with toxicity. Now, it's why this is happening, definitely. Okay. This is not for all of you couples, so listen. But I still need y'all to hold your guards up. I'm just giving you both sides of scenarios because people are on different journeys and times in, in their relationship, their lives, whatever. Okay. So this codependent person, this toxic person, may now, okay realize that they needed to have movement and leave some offer that they were offering to someone behind and stop juggling because they about to lose their cusper. And so they're pissed because they're losing it, but they're blaming others, but it's their own actions. I mean, forget that. Bump that. <laughs> Bump that. Look, let them work on what they got to work on. This is what I'm truly hearing. Let them work on what has to be worked on. No doubt I'm hearing somebody is being awakened. Well, hell, we always have to be awakened, don't we? Because we're not that we don't have emotions for those who work through things, but shoot, we always work it through something. We always got to get over and start over. So, yeah, let, let, yeah, whatever. Okay, the universe is dealing with this in the background. But just be aware, you need to be guarded against it. It's very toxic at this time. So what I'm feeling like, this situation behind you, it's behind you. And if it's not behind you, it's about to be. But this is giving you clarity how you're going to be able to work through it and get through it. So this situation behind you, it became, it, it became very toxic. It was toxic. This person was toxic. They were dealing with toxic situations, whether it's people, places, or things. We do have uh, the Page of Cups here and the Eight of Wands in reverse, both of them in reverse. It, it could, again, and I think Jim and I had this, there may be an unborn child that they wasn't telling you about. Um, they may even be 
very egotistic where they didn't know how to move towards you and apologize and make uh, apologize to you about something that may have happened uh, or something that they need to apologize to you about that's either codependent or toxic. Like I say, it could be taking care of family members. It could be a job. It could be a mindset. Uh, it could be anything, but something's toxic and they didn't communicate it to you, but it was emotionally felt. Something that they emotionally felt. And then again, it just could be their karma that they have to work through. They got to get through it, right? They can't come to... you. you the devil can't come up here to this empress with all the tools because it's like, poof, you're going to be gone. Like, get your old stuff together before you go running up on the empress. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, work through this. And now, and then they could be dealing with somebody that's very angry because they may have cut them off. And, and I mean, this could be a full-fledged relationship. And y'all have that in y'all reading. Full-fledged relationship because we got a page of code. We could represent children. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have a Tour of the Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we have Aries, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius. Uh, and Sagis real um, dominant here. It could be anybody. Okay? It could be anything, any set. It could be a family group. It could be a friend group. This could be a whole friend group, right? That just became toxic and codependent either on that situation behind them or they could have been wanting to become codependent on you, that you were the answer to this codependency and this toxic situation. But they didn't know Spirit Guide Fab, Cusper, and all this. Look at this. is an S show. That's an S show. No, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's go. So let's get into the real deal. Yes, let's get into the real deal, the challenge. Let's get into the real deal. Let's get in. Okay, so that was only two. I have to take. Okay, Spirit said take it all. So who am I? Who am I? Because I'm because you're trying to rush the reading and slow it down. Okay. <laughs> challenge. Your challenge, right? And your challenge position it's the empress this is you recognizing and knowing you got all the tools to do the job what has been what's what is it that's clarifying that what will even make you sometimes feel that you realize two of swords you had to make a choice and cut yourself loose that eight of uh swords is in reverse you know upright that's being stuck confined not having the answers hoping somebody gonna give you the answers or Whatever, with the eight of swords in reverse, you are out of there. Two of swords, you made that decision within yourself to realize, you know, this challenge is small. That's a small challenge because I'm huge. I'm the empress, right? So, um, with you having all the tools there, you was able to get out of your head, right? That's air. You was able to make a decision, air. Okay, so your, your Gemini part, Cusper, came through to get you out of this challenge. And after that, your emotions kicked in, Cusper, because then you got the King of Cups and the Six, uh, the, um, six of Swords. And you're like, so long, so well. I will see this for what it is, and I will go and search for the real, true love. <laughs> I play too much. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like. Look like you like, I will go find my real love and i will not stop until i find them <laughs> you know it's like you said sail like i'm cutting myself loose i have all the power and the tools the universe sits here and said this was the challenge for you to see this that you were the empress and you didn't deserve to be stuck and stagnant it's definitely not for toxic toxic situations no matter what it was it could be a job you could be like, you know what? I have so much experience. I'm going to go out into this world. And I'm really going to put it out there. And I'm leaving this stupid job. <laughs> it's like, I'm leaving this stupid job. I don't care how long I've been there. I'm out of here. And I'm going to go out in the world with my passion, with my cup open. And I'm going to sell the seas. <laughs> I hope you got enough money. <laughs> you got enough emotion. Oh, you do. Because guess what? You do got enough to sell the seas. Because the universe, what is the universe supporting you with? The Ace of Pentacles. So, whatever you decide to change in your life, the universe says, go do it. Now, I'm not telling y'all. 
<laughs> Sell everything you got and give it away. And I'm out of here today because the universe has something for me. No, 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 no. What I'm telling you, be careful. You do have all the tools you need, but you also need a plan. <laughs> you also need a plan. I see your free movement. You're like, oh my God, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. But the universe is saying, okay, we got you. And what's pushing you? Passion, right? Because the overall for this reading is the ace of wands. So this is passion that you like, you woke up one morning. <sighs> so passionate about life. <laughs> you know? <laughs> These little birds are out here just, okay, well, I guess y'all could drink the water out of the pots that I left out there while it rained all night and I forgot to bring them in. Now they soaked and wet. Anyway, the point is you are ready. You are so ready to go out there and find true love. You ready to just balance your emotions. You ready to just sail along. Like you will sail until, yeah. I just feel like you're in a, a place where your emotions is open, you're free, you're clear. Um, but see, that's why the spirit is telling you, beware. Somebody like, you too doggone free for me. <laughs> that's what I heard. Somebody or some situation. Like if you left a job or whatever, you know, they wanted you to be down and out. And 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 you not down and out, and they hearing people employees coming in. You know, so and so open their own business, or you know, so and so did this. Some employee is mad and jealous. People are mad and jealous. If there was a best friend that you left behind, or you just stopped dealing with, and y'all had dreams and goals, and maybe they became toxic, it didn't work out or something. But I just feel like somebody was right there at the precipice with you, and but they was the issue. Like, they couldn't get it together. If they had only got it together, I feel you probably would have been, like, sailing away with them, okay? Because the option was there for them. Like, you had space. But but now that the king that the king of cups is, is there leading, the, it's like, I don't know. Like, you could hold in space for something else way better. Like, they, I don't know, I keep hearing, and I was hearing that through something. They time ran out. They had an opportunity to, to get themselves together, to balance, to see, to have this new world, to have this new beginning with you, to share this abundance and love. Me and your freaking empress, right? I, 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 and I'm not calling people out there, but I feel like somebody is, okay, don't say that, don't say that. Hmm, no, Spirit said don't say that either. Okay, somebody is confused about goodness. I don't think they're confused no more because right now they're pissed, okay? And they are realizing how they were juggling their energy and like all they had to do was, yeah, I, I just can't, I don't want to go no more into it because, yeah, yeah, you definitely, you know, I, I don't want nothing resonating, Okay. Uh, uh, with me personally, okay, because, but anyway, the King of Cups and um, the <laughs> Six of Swords is definitely moving to calmer waters, and keeping your emotions open, not closing it down, not saying, okay, that love didn't work out, I'll never have love. No, this is, I accept the lessons I learned, universe, and thank you for healing and working with me to get through it and still allowing me to get back on my feet and get back going. And for the reason you created me and the direction I need to be going in, it feels much freer. It feels much more like, you know, the energies are, I feel the energies are just open for movement, just, just open for new adventures, new people. Yeah. You may have a, a, a couple of new situations. I'm feeling like two. Like, you may have two situations coming around you where uh, your emotions are open to it. But I don't think you want, like, a commitment or anything at this time. But I think it's like you just want to have fun. You might want to just be free. You may go out with a couple of people uh, just, you know, just to see how they doing or they seeing how you doing. But I just feel that right now you're going to let your energy continue to just be free and, and float into you know, you actually feel you meet that person that you want to actually invest or share with. And somehow you're just going to be free and loving this energy on your own after releasing from all this crap, right? So anyway, let's 
<laughs> we ain't even clarified the uh, support card, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Jesus, spirit. That's a lot. Yeah, I keep trying to. Okay, I'm just going to do it. So, <laughs> it did, look, I know, I'm telling you, it was in <sighs> Gemini's reading, too. I don't even, I got to figure out how I'm going to do y'all read. Because y'all, everything is be coming up the same. And how it doesn't, I don't Okay, anyway, let me just keep going. You end in a cycle with a fire sign. This is an ex, a baby mama. I don't care. I don't know who this dog on fire sign is. Keep coming up in your life. Sagittarius, Aries, a Leo, male or female. It don't matter. But you end in this cycle. Whatever was involved with this situation, your emotions for it, the way you seen it. You like It's like you're ending it. Like, I don't care. This is a, I, ending this cycle is a, I don't care. If you look at the, at the circle, at the world card where you end in the cycle, they're looking the opposite way of this queen of wands. And they had to end the cycle to begin the new cycle. So you could have been dealing with somebody like that. That's for some of you. Because this Ace of Pentacles is being clarified as the support that the universe is, is, is coming in with. So they're giving you the ability to end something, to start something new. And you're the Empress. So this, this you know, you, you're the Empress. So I don't know who this fire sign is, male or female. This could be somebody very, you know, passionate or whatever, but whatever engagements or energies that you had, I can't feel it had to do with this eight of swords being stuck and um, needing to make a decision. Like, like it was, it, it, I just feel because it's the fiery, and I'm not saying that all fire signs is like whatever, but there is a, I feel a more feminine person um, that was in your life that was causing a lot of confusion and, and the spirit guides are like, you know what? I can have this energy in my cusper life. This energy has to go. So they're ending the cycle, whatever was connected to them, to you or energies around you being protected from it. And it, it has to go its own way because you, this is you now. This is you uh, being in your empress mode with your heart, your emotions, and moving forward to much calmer waters, not being stuck or having to make any decisions when it comes to this. So this is somebody, that, you know, in, this, in the supportive energy, in order to have this ace of pentacles, there was something you had to be free from. And it has to do with, uh, I, I don't know who this person, you had to end the cycle. It could have been a best friend, right? Uh, somebody could have been trying to do it with you, right? They could have. They, you know, people do that. They get upset. If it was a best friend, a mom, or someone you know that may be indulging in magic, at least they think they are, they don't know you protected because you see this reef around you. This is all the tools. First of all, you're the empress. So they don't know that whatever they do, it wasn't going to do nothing but bounce right back at them. And they may know that by now, too. Oh, because they are, believe me, they're probably, that's that part I told you don't worry about. Oh, God, we ain't going to talk about that. Universe say that that's not your fight. Because your heart's not there. Your heart wasn't in there to wish bad or hurt or harm towards anyone. I don't know why I'm hearing this and I hate to talk about stuff like this because it really upsets me when people can't find their way and they want to put stuff on other people so that they fail or can't find their way. But you have to be careful when you do that because you don't know. You don't know who the angels is. You don't know who, what their protection is, what type of protection they put on themselves daily, what their rituals are. Okay, so I'm just saying, but somebody tried it. No. And the universe says, okay, I'm going to protect my customer and move them away from this energy. And this is literally, you know, it, well, when I turn it this way, guys, it's like they seen it head on. They knew there was something there that had to change or this person was trying to look on. But you know, at the end of the day, you, you can't, you know why you can't look me head on? Because you ain't on my level. See, <laughs> So whatever you try to put out there against me, because you ain't on my level, Cusper, I'm hearing you talking. I hear Cusper's talking. You ain't on my level. You can't even look me eye to eye. So when you try to put something out there, it ain't doing nothing but jumping off my protection of circle and landing back on you. That's how we're going to leave that alone. We ain't even going, we ain't going there. We're not going there. The universe said, I got that. That's, that ain't your battle. That ain't your fight. I know that's right. <laughs> If that's not it, why y'all... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They having issues. That's all. I'm leaving it. Four swords. 
and nine of swords. The universe is there and that's good enough. In the support of energy, this is all you need to know. So don't sit up sleepless nights. I'm hearing something may happen, Cusper, in a situation. Please do not take that burden upon yourself. It, it, that is not, it, you're, you're the empress. You're moving on. You cut yourself away from it. The universe is giving you all the tools to move forward. That's Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning coming in for you. Your heart is open. You didn't close it out. You didn't hate no one. You didn't put stuff towards them in no type of way. You just wanted your heart free and you wanted to be free to move in a direction that met your soul. And you did it with honest love, with clarity of what it is that you truly wanted and what you needed to heal and move away from. Then that's all you need to know. All this here, that got nothing to do with you. So just know what you're going to be guarded about. Whatever this anger situation in the past, it may show up as uh, on your path as someone maybe, you know, blaming you for something or saying things about you or, you know, something happened in a situation. You're like, just whatever. Don't blame that on you because you didn't do it. You had nothing to do with it. That's all I'm saying. Your heart is, I feel it. Your heart was not, yeah, you're good. The sun card under the bottom. Look, ace of wands, sun card. I was told to take it. High priestess, clarify, and the three of cups. That's it. That's it. That's it. And then we got that fire sign again under the bottom. Every time happiness comes, that I'm telling you, they're male or female, I don't care who it is. And this was now the night of, I don't even want to look. I'm not holding that energy up because, I'm, yeah. Um, it was the night of wands. And that's that flighty energy in and out. The universe is telling you to be careful because you got an angry person here. This could be a widow. It could be an ex-wife. Somebody, like I say, somebody could have left. I don't know. They left. They had children. It's a lot of, I told you it's an S show over here. And whatever it is, it's toxic, it's codependent. We talking boyfriends, girlfriends, exes, wives, children, all kind of toxicity going on in the back. And I don't know how you got involved in all of this, but you truly have learned a lesson. And the spirit, that's why you're being released, because you learned a lesson that you was able to walk away and make this decision, which is a two of swords, and realize who you really were, and that this fight wasn't yours. This battle, this healing, this toxicity, all these games, and people not really truly wanting to uh, I'm hearing um, want better, want to do better in life. They didn't want that. And you did. And you, I, I heard you became a burden to them. I don't know how that works anyway. Let's, okay. Woo, I cannot. Clarifying the uh, Ace of Wands, and I'm closing this reading out because it, it, you, you got enough information. If this resonates, you already know the things I didn't say, and you know exactly what I did say, okay? So, closing this out, the overall for this reading is the fact that you're going to be celebrating new people coming in, collaborating. You're going to be happy about this new energy and space that you're in. And your high priestess is here. This is not a secret. What truly makes you happy? The people that truly make you happy. Um, the high priestess is follow your intuition because the universe is leading you very passionately because it clarifies the ace of wands. The universe is leading you very passionately towards a place that you're going to be much more happier in. If you're leaving situation and people behind, there's other people that's going to be coming in, but they, they match your energy, they love, they care, they support. There may be either supports coming in, family members or whatever uh, that's going to collab with you on this situation. The Ace of Wands is though you're fired up, you're ready. you like, let's do it. Everybody, let's go, <laughs> right? And, and whoever these people is coming in, they're coming in from the universe because it's the overall for the reading and the way the universe is supporting you is the Ace of Pentacles. And this this is the one thing I need you to know overall is this ace of pinnacle is yours. So the way you maneuver it and the way you share it, how you build it, I hear you build it, they will come. I don't know. You're going to build something and they will come. I don't know. But um, anyway, this is all about your emotions moving forward, being free to open it up. So take your time. I'm also hearing you don't have to rush because you're so protected. 
Like the old cycle is over. It's gone. If you struggle with finances, if you struggle with people, you struggle with love, getting out of situation, whatever it is, like your heart is open, the universe knows it, sees you've done the work, and now they have something else for you. And this Ace of Pentacles, you need to grab it in, and you can decide what you want to do with it, right? Because the old cycle is done. I'm also hearing the universe says, you're protected. Don't worry about a thing. You are protected. That is what I have for you, Cusper. I know this wasn't a quick reading. I tried it. <laughs> I tried it. But if you guys like this read and anything resonated with you, definitely give me a thumbs up. You could share down below. If this is not it and you would love to be in this energy, you know, I tell you people just hit a thumbs up or comment below with a heart or whatever or put down there, I claim it. Because you got to put out in the universe what you want, right? I know you don't want all this over here. And you want to be on this side of the spectrum, then you put it out there, right? But make sure you say, I'm on side two. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with all this behind me. I'm on this this, this whole setup of growth on side two with these new people and objects and, and, and having all the support that I need to start this new adventure and feeling good about myself and knowing who I am and moving forward in that manner. Okay, that's all I got for you. Love and like, Cusper. <laughs> I will see you guys on your next reading. Bye.